Hi, hello and welcome to the beginning of the Cisco CCNA 20301 English complete and free course available on the Illimitable Internetworking International channel on youtube.com. My name is Sajjad Gafuri. I will be your instructor throughout this course and this video with alongside with the other upcoming 20 video or 19 video will be a remake for the first chapter and the introduction of the already published completed and available cisco ccna 20301 english course that is already available and published around more than a year ago on the channel itself this same channel uh, we know or we call this channel as triple i networking just as a short name for this long illimitable internet network internet networking international name so let's call it call it the triple i networking channel uh, again i am sajad gafuri i'll the creator i am actually the creator and an instructor on this channel so far for the past year and a half with all the 400 videos that i have created and published i'm the only instructor there no more assist no assistance uh, yet uh, i'm also a senior network instructor uh, at orhanargun.net or orhanargun llc i forgot to type that the limited company and also i carry around 13 different certificates in cisco systems and juniper networks certification uh, system uh, you can follow us, you can follow the channel, and you can follow the community on the social media on the Facebook page, which is the Triple I Networking. We have a group called Triple I Networking as well, uh, and I will give you a, a small hint or a small note regarding these in a minute. Uh, the Instagrams triple i networking as well so i made good effort to make all of them unified and also this is my personal and it's actually a business not a personal thing it's my business linkedin profile so all linkedin profiles actually should be business profiles not for like life uh, style or life uh, stories etc and we can start like now talking about this exam the cisco ccna 20301 course is already available on the channel just like i mentioned and it's about 80 videos or 80, 85 videos for the english version it will cost you it's for free but it will cost from you time 29 hours to be completely finished because it contains seven chapters and it contains around 30 lab as i remember something like between 25 to 32 lab as i remember or even more and we will see, you will see that it's already available and the reason why i told you that this video is a remake actually just before i talk about this video itself let me just tell you why i did a remake because let me just jump the old version this is how the old version looks like it's awful maybe some people might call it no it's not that awful you are exaggerating well yes if you hear that video you'll hear some noise in the audio clear noise uh, video quality is not that much instructing quality is not that much english accent was weak because it was the first video ever i recorded uh, for youtube.com and it was published a year and a half ago so december 1st and today is june 1st 2021 so that makes it around more than a year and a half a year and seven months yeah so this is how it looks like it looked like this is how i kept instructing throughout the course and it was around 80 these are all the videos the course is already published it's already gaining thousands and thousands of views every day and it has 84 videos and three extra videos that i will talk about in, at the end of this video so i only i will only do a remake or i will re-record only the first chapter because only the first chapter is that low quality starting from chapter two and beyond you will see that this external mic is the same external external mic that was available the accent was better i was less nervous i was more relaxed i was better etc so chapter two beyond till the end of chapter seven because this course is of se cha seven chapters and i will tell you what seven chapters are those why seven what are they exactly so from chapter 2 to chapter 7 to the end quality is good it's understandable and in this year and a half we have crossed more than 300 certified candidates who have watched my videos and took the exam after that and became certified as a cisco ccna 200 301. you might think that the number is too much well actually to be honest this channel is one of the rare and few channels worldwide that are bilingual 
what i mean by that if you went to the channel playlist right now of my channel what you will find that almost every course not almost but actually every course like juniper juniper uh, no, not that one. Just let me do that. Yeah, Juniper Networks, Juniper Networks. I'll tell you what's that in a minute. Cisco CCMP with Cisco CCMP. A CCNA with another CCNA. Exam preparation with another exam preparations. And take exam from home with taking exam from home written in another language. So everything in this channel is bilingual it's mirrored i have a mirror in my channel whenever i record something in english i record that in arabic because i'm a native arabic guy and i record these videos in the general arabic language not a specific co country specific language so everything in this channel is bilingual is available bilingual and you can see that there is a ccna english and there is a ccna arabic and they are almost the same videos 83 88 small differences in the duration of the videos there is something called exam prep for in arabic and in English, there is the CCMP Encore in Arabic and the CCMP Encore in English as well. I will tell you what are those. What does Encore mean? Uh, this video will be around 15 to 20 minutes, I believe, by the time that I end it. So I will brief or I will sometimes go detail in everything. And there is something called Juniper Networks, another competitive company to Cisco. They have their certificates. They have their CCNA that is called JNCIA. JNCIA. So it's JNCIA to be compared to the Cisco CC. Uh, this is not a letter N at all. I'm certain of that. To the Cisco CCNA. So I even have that published and it's also in two languages, Arabic and English. But you might see six videos, 30 videos. What's the difference? Actually, I'll tell you what's the difference in minutes because I did mention that I'm already a senior instructor at orhanergun.net. And when you go to orhanergun.net, this website, this website is not for free courses. It's for paid high quality professional courses. It starts with very high level like the CCDE and the CCIE and the CCIE service provider as well. So there are so many high level courses and there is my complete English Juniper Networks course and my complete English Cisco CCMP course. What is Junus? What is CCMP? I'm going a little bit too much. I will leave them. I was only justifying to you why I was doing a remake and I will go back to these in a minute. Okay, so for this exam that you are cared of, which is the most one of the most famous certificates and exams worldwide for whomever would like to just start networking engineer, engineering from network engineering from zero from scratch from no knowing nothing from seeing seeing a network cable and not realizing what is that because they have zero knowledge so this is the right place because really cisco always designs their courses to start from zero so whomever you are college degree no college degree high school no high school whatever whatever you have master degree phd i don't care because this course starts from zero it's around 29 or perhaps it will become like 30 hours if i did the remake and it will be like your guide from zero until you become a really associate engineer that you will be able to handle a simple to medium network later i will tell you the next step that will relay on this one that starting after you finish this course you can start the next step you can become a professional later you'll become an expert sometimes you'll be called like a specialist etc but we need nothing we need no knowledge from any other course from any other um, degree from any other college whatever we need english language we need a laptop or a computer and that's it seriously okay so this exam this version of the exam actually it was not created in 2020 and it was not created or published actually 2019 it was created very early like more than 20 years ago uh, what happens is that every four to six years some new evolving technologies are spreaded worldwide and that's why the new generation of engineers must know them at the first steps of their career that's why cisco do replaces the versions of the ccna every four to six years this is the 20301 before that there was the 200 125 before that there was the 200 120 120 only and there before that there was the 640 etc 800 something which is a very very old one and it lasted for a lot of years and it was extremely basic light you could finish it in weeks and get certified with it later things started to become big huge multi-technology so these last three versions were the evolution of networking where an engineer that finished one of these is really 
good engineer really um qualify to work with real networks get a real good job with a real good salary worldwide wherever you are all of them understand cisco all the countries all the companies all of them understands what is cisco what is the ccna itself and they do respect that okay but what happens is that on june completely two years ago from today on june 2019 cisco announced the new generation of 2301 that should replace the 20125 and that it will only take place or it will be uh started to work or started to officially be taken this exam on february 24 2020 what i did at that time that i started on december 1st 2019 to do my best to deliver the complete course by the end of february and i did that in that time but the first chapter was awful actually when i looked to the comparison between my first ccna english chapter versus my first ccna arabic chapter and they see the differences in quality i can understand why people are seeing the arabic version three times more than the english one the english one was awful action and low quality so let's only um do a remake for the first chapter and this is what i'm doing right now at that time when i started doing that a year and a half the price was not fixed for the exam it was interchangeable between one 95 dollar up to 300 american dollar but a few months after that cisco decided that decided that they will unify the exam cost worldwide worldwide so wherever you are whomever you are wanted to taking the ccna exam you will pay 300 american dollar it's a must but where should you pay that at uh, how can you achieve this exam how will you how should you pass the exam either by you take go to the exam center which is called the person view and they are an authorized testing engine and center and there they will take your exam or by taking the exam from home because on april 15 2020 as i remember or april yeah 15 2020 because of the covid 19 pandemic that was spread worldwide and all the centers were locked down uh cisco accepted to have the candidates to the, take the exams from home and regarding that actually if you go back to my channel then i will show you something in the playlist section that is called taking the exam from home there are two videos in this playlist one of them is english the other is arabic each one of them is telling you what is taking the exam the ccna exam from home how you can do that what are the prerequisites requirements etc so that you will take your exam peacefully okay and you'll pass it uh after that when you finish the exam and you come certified you will get one single badge only from cisco that is called the cisco certified network associate no titles only cisco certified network associate with no extra thing at all if you're thinking about that and it also recertifies an old ccna that you have a new ccna that it's almost to be expired uh, the cisco certified devnet associate and the cisco certified cyber associate well i will tell you what's that yeah you might see that uh, but just one minute yes don't like hang out or something wait a couple of minutes because i'm about to describe everything today uh the old and the new certificates because this video might be the first video for you if you were already an engineer a network engineer uh perhaps now you would like to start with a new fashion of the new certificates we would like to start now with a new generation of certificates that was released by cisco in 2020 announced in 2019 released officially 2020 and making all and made all the old certificates to be completely obsolete so this is the new system the old system was having around 10 certificates ccna certificates 10 associate degree which were the collaboration data center routing and switching which was the most famous and this one replaces it ccna wireless ccna security ccna service provider ccna cloud ccna cyber ops ccna industrial and the cisco certified design associate that i had but unfortunately it was deleted what i had actually in the old system was i had a ccda i had a ccna rs i had a ccna security i failed the service provider and i did not take it again because i did not have a time at all and eventually all of them were deleted completely in the new system uh, but but when they were alive before like years ago starting from 2014 
up to 2020, six years, when these nine with the CCDA, these 10 associate degrees were live, they had their own CCMPs, some of them. Like there was a CCNA collaboration and there was something called the Cisco Certified Network Professional. So this is like the master degree of collaboration. This one is the bachelor, this one is the master, and this is the PhD. This is not like an exaggeration really, but actually Cisco does and some companies and some universities does consider it in that way. A bachelor degree, master degree and a PhD, it can be uh, said in that way. Because you will see how much of knowledge and enablement is there in these uh, certificates and their courses and books. And you will see that, yes, this is as much as I have studied in college. It's too much, yeah, too much of info, correct. So all of these certificates that they will associate most of them not all of them sorry have a professional master level for them like collaboration had a collaboration data center as well ccmp routing and switching ccmp wireless ccmp security ccmp service provider ccmp cloud and there was a cisco certified design professional the cisco ccdp as well yes all of them are deleted in the new system but just before they got deleted they had their expert degree their phd there was a cci for collaboration for data center rs wireless security service provider and there was and there is still actually the cisco ccde this one is always out of the line and cisco does not want to take it here to be combined with these uh, classic tracks because it's different and that's why it's isolated yeah so okay so what happened actually because these were deleted there was the new system that was announced by cisco and the new system says that there are no more 10 ccnas one ccna the ccna from now on the cisco certified network associate 20301 ccna that's it all of them deleted so before an ambitious engineer would like to say i would like to take all the available ccnas five of the ccnas just like i tried to do actually i took three i was on the way to take the fourth it was good that I did not take the fourth because it was deleted already. Okay, but um, after that, all of them were deleted. Yeah, unfortunately. So there was there is only an, one single CCNA from now on, and we are doing its course right now. And I will tell you why there is one CCNA. Why really did Cisco delete nine other CCNA? No more technologies? No, these technologies are there and still evolving, but there is a redistribution and a reboot that happened to that system of certificates. Uh, that single CCNA actually qualifies you to take whatever you want from these five professional levels uh, a ccmp collaboration ccmp data center ccmp enterprise enterprise is now the new fashion for the routing and switching but it's not actually routing and switching it has a part of it that is routing and switching and the other major parts are not routing and switching at all that's why it's the enterprise and i have a course for it already on the channel and on orhanorgan.net and there is a new ccmp security and a new service provider these five guys are actually all of them are rebooted and all of them have new books new certificates new exams etc all of them are nothing compared to the previous versions and uh, since we have five ccmps we have five ccies as well some exceptions rule exception rules are there uh like there is no more something called the ccda design associate and there is no more ccdp design professional but there is the cisco ccde so yes when it comes to design unfortunately you will have to start from the expert level so we'll have to start like some like some extra study some extra resources gain some five to ten years of expert before you take this ccde it's in that way from now on and another exception rules rule is actually that cisco did not include in this um chart is that actually this there is not only one single ccna yeah there are a couple more associate exams not an A's, not CCNA's, because the n letter here is the sensitive case and refers to network cisco says hold on when you are talking about networking we have only one single associate degree and that's it please don't argue etc whatever but if you are talking about associate exams from cisco there are a couple more what are those there's some co something called the cisco certified dev net associate and actually i do have the books of them i can show you that in a minute yeah the cisco certified DevNet associate and they have the cisco certified cyber 
ops associate this one is for programming automating and making you a qualified programmer plus a network engineer at the same time this one to makes you a good uh, cyber security analyst and engineer as well so these are two new tracks each one of them have a cisco certified associate degree they have a cisco certified dev p they have a cisco dev p and they have a cyber ops uh, professional as well and their e ie exam their expert exam are still in developing so to be honest there is no really one single ccna there are a couple more ccnas that are available and you need to stay tuned with my channel because these two will be published on the channel as well yeah i'm doing my best to achieve that and the last slide that i was i'm about to talk uh, i will that i want to talk about today is the course syllabus this course is built 100% based on the blueprints, the official blueprints from Cisco. What does the word blueprints mean? It means that if I went to google.com and I type Cisco CCNA 20301 and I hit an enter, then I should find a couple of results like, I don't want you to imagine that, I will show you that in a minute, like this one. It's the Cisco CCNA from Cisco.com and this is the welcoming uh, page of it and you can come and ask review the exam topics after the exam topics these are the six chapters of the blueprints of this exam so chapter one is the network fundamentals this is the first and the biggest chapter there it's the most uh, it's the biggest chapter and there's the network access for layer two technologies there is the IP connectivity for layer 3 technologies. There is IP services. This one is very mandatory. There is something called security. And there is automation and programmability. Plus, if you take a deep look on the first one again, you will find some parts there like this one. Where is it? Wireless principles. So we have here wireless. Even in module 2, I have some wireless technologies i remember that i had compared the wireless architectures and the access point modes physical infrastructure of the wlan components etc configure the components of the lan describe the access points and the wlc management so the point is in this new ccna that was published to replace the old ccna routing and switching what i have i have network network ip ip so classics routing and switching i have security i have automation and programmability and i have some wi-fi or wlan topics so this ccna is replacing the old routing and switching ccna ccna security ccna wireless and an entire new chapter that is called the automation and programmability where you will start with the very basics and beginnings of while the automation and programmability uh the the new sdn technologies etc all of these evolving technologies will be mentioned there so this course is built completely and 100 percent based on these official blueprints but what i did for a network associate or for a new fresh engineer is that i simply isolated the wi-fi topics in one single chapter which is chapter six so you can see that we have seven chapters instead of six because chapter six is the wireless networks fundamentals and that's it the same chapter one same chapter two three four five we have the six and seven so seven chapters and around 85 videos 84 videos and we we can isolate the, the introduction so it will be 83 videos or 82 something and it's more than 80 anyways and it will cost you around 29 hours of study this should be the end of this video in the upcoming video i will start the first chapter chapter one it's the biggest chapter but it's the most challenging because it has zero practical sides the entire first chapter is the fundamentals that will take you from zero knowledge to the beginning of network engineering just the beginning so that's why it's very important no hands-on labs there only talking 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 and i will talk for around 20 videos for a duration of seven hours and you'll have to endure and bear that with me please don't neglect chapter one don't like take chapter one as easy don't think about it it's easy at all you need to take it seriously and you need to memorize understand everything that i will mention in this chapter because from chapter two until not the end of this course 
until the end of your career all of these topics that you will start working with depends on chapter one so seven hours bear with it you can study an hour or half an hour a day repeat the video and uh, um write down your notes etc and yes by the way before i end this video two very important notes number one always read the description of my videos there are ton of info in the description before you ask the question number two will be that whatever slides that i used for a course you will find a download download link for them as a pdf format in the description as well not this one this is only an intro and nothing is really beneficial from downloading these slides it's not giving you something informative but starting from the upcoming video whatever you see all of the slides are available and i will give you the link to download the complete slides of the entire course below this video yeah read the description you will find a direct download link download link download the slides perhaps you would like to print them on paper so that you will not waste your time writing down the obvious headlines while i am interpreting or talking or instructing etc so this will save you good time instead of typing down some obvious headlines it's else or actually uh, what you will do will be you will pause the video when you would like to note something or write down something that is new something that rang a bell in your brain and says that is a good catch write it down so we will pause the video write it down and continue the video i hope that everything was very clear i hope my accent is good i hope the introduction is good i hope that the video quality is clear for you you can see this is how i decorate everything in this channel you can see that there are around 400 videos in this channel you might see that the cisco ccmp by the way the cisco ccna is your first step after that if you want to get specialized or you want to come to become specialist or a professional you might need to take the cisco ccmp enterprise or other any other ccmp security service provider data center or whatever but if you wanted to take the cisco ccmp enterprise you will need two exams now instead of three, three exams for the previous uh architecture or um, system the two new exams are called a core exam and a concentration exam one yeah i really have all the books on my side but i will show you them later but one of them just one of them it's called the NRC that I am already developing and publishing on orhanorgon.net. This one is available already. Okay, so there are, have around 10 books right now and all of them have courses on my channel and on the website of orhanorgon.net. So for the CCMP exam, if you wanted to become a professional, you will need to take two exams, the core and the concentration. The core exam have a limited, not complete course on my channel because the copyrights of them were sold to orhanorgon.net so on the channel we'll find 60 percent of the english in core exam course available on the website you'll find it 100 percent this website that i showed you multiple times this one here this is the orhanorgon.net this is my cisco ccmp training it has all of these it has a good discount actually right now it's 50 percent and all of the seven modules are available there of the ccmp some of the videos are free samples you can just click on them and you can see them without having an account or to pay anything some of these exams are some of these videos i'm sorry are samples perhaps you want to see that you want to see the quality you want to see things different but actually there will be some differences between a free course and a paid course these are the differences so much other uh, materials are provided for you when you purchase that exam so that is the difference between a free and a paid one and i have also my complete jncia which is the ccna of juniper networks course available uh, also you can get a good discount right now and it has two complete chapters for free and other four chapters that are not for free when you paid of course you will get for it again so that should be the end of this video i hope that everything was clear for you i hope to see all of your comments below i will take all the 20 old videos that have low quality and i will isolate them in an obsolete like playlist perhaps no one should see them anymore and i will add these instead in the same playlist so we'll log into one playlist every day and you will start seeing the videos from video zero up to video 84 as i remember yes I'm sorry i remember something extremely important when you finish this course what i would recommend and that i do always do that you will study two things number one you will find three extra videos each one of them is 1.5 hours and the at the end of this 
playlist each one of them is called the mega lab so there is a mega lab number one number two number three each one of these videos is a challenge that requires a cumulative knowledge that you have gathered throughout this entire course so that you will solve its tasks so this one is a very good practice for you and number two when you go to the playlist there is something called the exam preparation this one the exam preparation is a series of 17 videos that I have logged them. They are no longer updating. They have been stopped at the end of Christmas 2020 or at the end of the year of 2020. So what I did is that these 17 videos will tell you what to expect, how to prepare for the exam, uh, how to manage the time because you will have to uh, answer 100 questions in two hours only. Yeah, this is the CCNA exam, 200-301. So that series is very good for you. And the extra mega labs are very good for you to practice very well. And that's it. Enough chit-chatting. Let's start real networking in the upcoming video. Thank you.